Justin Stair writes, I just went and saw Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. During the trailers, I saw a trailer for In the Heart of the Sea. Now, I was looking forward to this movie when it was originally set to come out back in what I believe was February. Should we still be looking forward to this movie? Was it moved in hopes of some award acknowledgement? Um, yeah, it's kind of funny because back in the day when Collider Movie Talk was still AMC Movie Talk, I remember um, Ron Howard did a little video for us for as an introduction. Do you remember this? Mm-hmm. For AMC Movie Talk one day. And he was like, hey, AMC Movie Talk fans, I hope you come out and check out my new movie in the heart of the sea opening in like six weeks or eight weeks or right. whatever it was. It wasn't too far in the future. And we, I can't wait for you to come out and see it. And like literally like 72 hours we were doing a story of – and the heart of the sea has been pushed back like you know, eight months or wherever it was to the end of the year. And yet, if I remember correctly, Ron Howard said exactly what you just said in the letter. I think he said the studios now believe that this has some awards potential. And so they're moving it to later in the year. Now, they're not moving it to later in the year to increase its awards potential. What they want to do is capitalize on awards buzz to help the box office uh, box office of the movie. So they think it's got some awards potential, so they're moving into a time of year when awards buzz can come out and hopefully drive more interest in the movie. It's really a financial decision because of the awards, but uh, I think you completely nailed it. I'm really looking forward to this movie. I, I, I remember thinking Ron Howard and kind of a Moby Dick kind of... Uh, movie okay that could be interesting and i think chris hemsworth is leading that film yeah. and then i saw the trailer and i was completely on board and then i remember ray brought me the first poster and it's just remember that one it's, just, it's from far up in the ocean it's way yeah. high in there you see a little ship then you realize there's a silhouette of this giant whale under it and i just remember thinking that poster is awesome tom holland our new spider-man is also appearing in the film lots of reasons to be excited about it i cannot wait for it um, yeah, as far as the question goes, the the fact that they're moving it not in January always that's always a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> when you get put in January, then you start to hold your nose. But the fact that it's getting put there, there's a couple things. Remember, Ron Howard suffered from putting an Oscar type movie in the summer season before, and that was Cinderella Man. Yeah, uh, Cinderella Man suffered because that's a movie that audiences in the summertime that are going to those big blockbuster movies aren't going to see. So it's very possible that the studios went and said. This guy, guys, this is not a summer movie. You know, it's just now they in that same conversation can be like, I don't know if it's going to be an Oscar movie, but it also is not bad enough to put in January, February. It should still come out this year. Let's put it in October, November, whenever it comes out, and see how it does. I think that's probably the conversations. And then you have they worked before. Uh, Chris Hemsworth and Ron Howard worked mm-hmm. in Rush, and they right. got in their and Oscar great results. Great results, not in the theater. But in as far as recognition from critics, and then once people started watching it on, uh, you know, Blu-ray or whatever, that's when people started raving about the movie. So I think that this is actually a good sign for the movie and a smart move because I think this movie would have suffered putting it in July. It's not. It's you're going to have a few big scenes with the whale, but it's not a summer action movie. Yeah, I think it was originally pegged for February or March or something. Like was that. it? Yeah, I think it was originally pegged much earlier. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought it was coming out in like. But uh, you're right. I mean, June. it wouldn't have been yeah. a summer movie, and and it, I think it could have done decent business in. February. February, but if they're right, and this is is going to get Oscar buzz, then this could be very lucrative for them. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, and it also looks like a really well put together film. You know, when you see those trailers, right. you're like, I can't. At least for myself, I was like, I cannot wait to see this film. So that they're they push it back exactly what you guys said. It's for the Oscars because people. That's the one thing. The one thing I don't like the way the, way the Oscars work is people forget about all the cool yeah. movies that came out earlier in the year, and they're just like. Only these last like three months really matter. Boyhood got a lot of attention at the Oscars last year. I'm just saying, like whatever the it's companies rare. push, because yeah. the, all the studios have to keep that refreshment for all the people who are voting. Remember this movie? They have to spend a lot of extra money and try to get it sometimes even re-released in the theater. So that's why I'm hoping Ex Machina doesn't get lost in the shuffle because mm-hmm. that's still my favorite movie so far. 